It is 2953 of the Third Age. Erebor has been reclaimed. Saron has fled from Mirkwood into Mordor to begin his pursuit for the One Dream. And the last meeting of the White Council has tasked Gildor and Glorian with assembling a fellowship to stop Umbarian pirates from assembling ancient artifacts from a Second Age prophecy. Join the players of this Adventures of Middle-Earth Dungeons & Dragons campaign as they unravel the mysteries of the prophecy. Welcome to Arda in part one of the Inglorian Bastards trilogy, Search for Tor Arasia. So you guys, you guys go another eighty or ninety miles uh, to Erebor. Um, your um, let's do actually let's do an arrival roll. Let's have your guide do an arrival roll. Right. Yeah. This is where we get advantage oh, or whatever. Where, how do I roll one of those? Because I, I only see embarkation on my. Um, yes. uh, you know what? I think I said I was going to roll that. Uh, but let me see if you can roll it now. Uh, is it in the macros setting? Yeah, I'll go search for it. What, what is the... Um, let me put that in the bar. What does it use? So um, the modifier is... Um, so let's see. You do a 1d8 plus um, any modifiers that I give you. Um, it says embark and terrain mod. Yep. Yep. So for that, we'll do um, let's see an embarkation roll. Yeah, we'll give you. Uh, we got a twelve. We'll give you a plus two on this one. So in this input box, I should put a two. Yeah. All right. I don't know if, well, how is this how this is going to go off of like what is one d eight? Is there any like skill associated with it, or is it just a one d eight? It's a one d eight plus modifiers. It looks like. All right. <laughs> well, uh, oh, okay. Um, wow. yeah, I, all right. It's it's not like I said. This arrival roll is not going to matter much because you're with a dwarf from Erebor, um, and you're also going to take a um, going to have some fellowship period after this. But it says arrival in poor spirits. They are beset by foul moods and short tempers that they must work hard to throw off. They are considered disadvantaged uh, on all roles pertaining to social interactions such uh, until such time as they succeed in one of these roles. This penalty will apply if they seek an audience with, at the destination. If there is a single upside to the dark mood, it is that they are so spoiling for a fight that each member of the company receives advantage to their initiative roles should they find themselves in combat at the destination. Um, but again, you, you're not really. Don't worry about it for now. I just wanted to try it out. Okay. Um, okay. So you guys are in Erebor, um, and the throne room is a little farther down the hall. Dane, like Dane, stands stands up. Um, actually, you see these people here. Let me let me introduce you to them. <laughs> Um, oh, I didn't show you what. So this is Loni. This is the dwarf you, one of the dwarves you met before. This is Nali. Um, some of them were at the council um, in fellowship. So this guy's here. Aha! This guy's here. Uncle. This yeah. guy's here, and that <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's he still CGI. <laughs> yeah, hmm. and this guy. That guy's there. He is. Yes, he is. Yeah, where the fuck has that guy been? Root. Yeah. Root. <laughs> <laughs> Please walk up to him and go, "Hey, where the fuck you been?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. whoever has whoever has the lore card about wizards, there's a fair amount. I, of I have it. No, yeah. I'm sure the um, elf has it too. Yeah. Yep, both of them. Is this yeah. the guy with the twin or whatever? Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're twins necessarily, but there are two blue wizards, and they're the first wizards to be sent. Um, into the east of Middle Earth to um, sort of rouse up rebellion against Sauron. Yes, yeah, so, so um, blue wizards. No one's heard of them in right. thousands of years, though. So when they when the blue wizards first came, uh, Altar was actually. Um, they say he's possibly even more powerful than Saruman. 
Um, and he's he and Saruman both volunteered uh, to be to be placed in Arda, on Arda. Um, they had to they had to actually ask Gandalf and the others to, to come. Um, but Altar and the other blue wizard went into Rune, uh, which is the the land um, east. Uh, yeah, very very far east. And they're the wizards. The blue wizards are attributed as um, the people that kept the people of Rune from joining Sar- uh, Sauron. Um, Who are so, the Easterlings? The Easterlings? Yeah. Um, I, I believe... I don't know exactly where they come from. They're, like, different from... Um, they're different from the uh, South Southrons or whatever. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I think they I think they come from south of Mordor. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. But but they're not really they're not really in this tale. Okay. Uh, Just so curious you, what the difference was. So you guys come in and uh, to the throne room, and Dane uh, gets up and he's like, Ah, Burin, my boy. He embraces you. He's like, oh. He's like, yes. He's like, yes. Um, you've seen some action on this trip, I can tell. You have no idea. <laughs> and he, he says, what we talked about, have have you done it? It's in progress. Uh, and, uh, Do we old, know what he's talking about? No, no. Uh, we travel with this guy for one month, and he doesn't tell us what his purpose is. <laughs> we have the same purpose. Kind of. Okay. All right. Kind um, of. Yes. I mean, I would I would greet him with like the traditional like headbutt. Yeah. And um, I'd be like King Dane. Uh, is there some quarters we could retreat to? Um, we're just passing through on our on our journey, and we need uh, some quarters for the for the evening. He says, "Absolutely, stay as long as you want." And that's when Altar steps forward, and he says, "But do not delay too long. I would not risk more than a few days in Erebor." Um, he introduces himself to you and says, um, "You are being hunted." Um, he says, "Even now, the enemy prepares an, uh, a, a monstrous creature of old, um, and he, he's learned this this, um, this this foul deed that he's doing. He's he's cr- he's basically creating a wolf uh, to hunt you, and he says he's doing it in the in the, the same method that his master taught him. And he says this has been done once before um, with Dragluin and Karkaroth." Mm, Karkaroth. I will wear the pelt. Karkaroth is basically Sauron, though, right? No. Or is that different? Oh, no. Karkaroth is the one that fought... Huon. Uh, yeah. So, do you, uh, do you want to explain this to anybody? Sure. Do I actually know this story? Or Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I don't know if Faraday knows this, but basically, um, one of the hounds of... Is it Orome? Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, is um, I, I keep I keep saying Juan in my head. I don't know if it's right. <laughs> Juan, it's, Juan it's, the it's, dog. It's, it's Juan. <laughs> Juan. Okay, Juan. That sounds better than Juan. Um, so <laughs> the, there's yeah, one of the almost immortal dogs of um, um, Orome was given to Felron Feligan. Is that right? Finrod Feligan. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, basically, um, do you remember the quotes that I put about Karkaroth in in the chat? Let me get them for you. Yeah, he's like some beast ass werewolf um that Morgoth made or Morgoth trained, I guess. I don't know. I mean, no. And uh it's tied into the whole Baron Luthien thing. He like eats Baron's hand while he's holding the Silmaril. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. This is the this is the quote. The drag win. Um, so basically, there was there was the big bad back in the day named Morgoth, um, or Melkor is what he was originally called, and he was one of the Valar basically who went bad, and he was always kind of bad, and he he was Sauron is actually kind of like the angel of Morgoth, um, even though Sauron has kind of been the bad guy for a, the main bad for a long time, um, and what Morgoth did is he he basically like fed his power into this wolf and basically fed fed like live elves and and men and and created this wolf this to for one purpose to hunt um, and and so Sauron is actually Altar tells you that Sauron is trying his hand at this mm-hmm. um, and that very soon the wolf will be ready to leave Mordor and and he so he says what you carry with you you need to get it to the elves 
and he says whether that be uh, he doesn't mention Thranduil's name he says whether that be Rivendell um, or Lorien you, you need to seek their counsel and, and seek their help uh, Angolin would say can you can you help aid us in this journey I, I know of who you are and know you're a very powerful figure he says my he says I have just come from the 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 last meeting of the white or he says I've just come from the council of white um, and I am uh, I'm traveling back to my uh, my realm um, I, on my way from um, from Rivendell, I, I stopped by Erebor, and uh, and he's basically the one who asked King Dane to send Burren on this mission. Um, he says, but my time here is, is through. Uh, if you need help, there are other wizards along the way. Um, but, you know, seek, seek friendships in the elves um, and, uh, and, and hope that this, uh, this, this wolf does not find you. So, um, I guess we should do some thinking <laughs> as to where we should go. So, hmm. Jared, would I be able to like discreetly ask him about the uh, creature from the well? If he knows anything about it, yeah, he t- totally could. So, um, so he, he calls this wolf uh, Tarminoth. Uh, tar- Tarminoth is, is what he calls him, and in in uh, it, its name means large black jaws. Okay. So that's that's what he calls the wolf. Um, so yeah. So anything I say before we leave here tonight, I'd like to know. Um, where you're heading um, and a few things food for thought if you are going either of those places you have to go through Mirkwood so you have to tell me A. how you're going through Mirkwood there are basically two paths um, and and at this point I wish Josh was here because he would have an opinion about this and so would Anglin um, and, and the other piece of this to consider is um, at this point in the year let me give you a date um so after your travels, after you're done in Erebor, you'll leave. Um, you'll leave to pass through Mirkwood. If I can get Google Sheets to work here on November 23rd, day 38 of your travels. Um, so November 23rd is uh, the mountains are going to be almost impassable. Not That's to mention, good. not to mention there are goblins. The Goblin King is looking for looking for us. So those two things to consider. So what are you guys thinking? <laughs> Sounds like Lorian to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that's I mean, probably the best choice. It's closer. I mean, I don't know. You're, you're um, by going to Lorien. Um, you also are getting closer to Mordor. Yeah, but we're yeah. So I mean, hmm. so you're saying yeah. So if we were going to try to get back to Rivendell, we would just head directly west. Right to uh, to an almost impassable misty mountains where you're being hunted uh, yeah, yeah. by the goblins, or you can yeah, head that way, or where you're being hunted. Can we see that map? Let, let's pull up that map again. Sure. Which one did you want? Mm, just like general Middle Earth map. Let's All see. right. Let me let me do the middle. Um, I'll do the world uh, wilderland map for you. Yeah. There you go. So you guys are over in Erebor. Yep. So uh, you you would either travel sort of the Elf Path or go to the Old Forest Road if nope. you're going to head that way um, no old horse road um some of you might have an opinion about this uh, yeah. uh josh's character actually would suggest the old forest road and i don't know how anglin feels but um anglin that is where you had your uh juvenile experience that sort of, kind of set you on your path yeah uh i mean he would he would probably be He'd probably be okay with it in ter- because he knows it would be, you know, a quick route. But he would mention that there is, you know, there's evil there that, you know, uh, we don't want to deal with either. And that he's had experience with in the past. Uh, so Riken's character would say if if um, if you guys go to Lorien, uh, uh, Riken would say we're going to pass by Mountain Hall uh, and we we should stop by and, and for rest with my people. Um, and he would suggest Old Forest Road probably. But some of you probably feel passionately the other way too. Um, if you go the elf path, you'll have to cross through Thranduil's uh, uh, sort of territory. I would also caution the group like that I'm not welcome in Thranduil's territory, and that you know it could cause trouble for the group if we went that way, and you know I was caught with them. 
It'd be like Hanklin would be like, "Well, um, I, I didn't leave on the the best of terms with with them." Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to if we go the Elven path, we're gonna have to treat with uh, the King for sure. There's no getting past past them without them noticing. So. Mm. Which would make Anglin pretty not keen on that idea. Yeah, he'd be. <laughs> normally, the elf would be the best selling point for. Yeah, no, like way through, but yeah, you know. he's been exiled. So, <laughs> right, it sounds like our choice is pretty much decided for us. We have the. I mean, there's no going around them around the Mirkwood, right? But that leads us way too close to. we really, Mordor. really close to Mordor. Yeah. Yeah, we want to cut through if we can. All right, so Old Forest Road to, so you said Mountain Hall, but Mountain Hall is like right along the mountains. Do we want to? Do we actually want to do that, or do we want to head down the Anduin? That, that's uh, I, again. I wish Josh was here to sort of chime in, but he says that. Um, I guess if I could speak for him for now, he says that if they need, if they're being pursued, then you know it's they have friends at Mountain Hall. Uh, okay. So that's a consideration. Um, for, you know that fording, fording the Anduin um, is not very fast. Um, yeah. So, mm-hmm. so like if 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 for example you were able to get horses from King Dane or or possibly uh, you know some of the people of Dale traveling you know traveling to Mountain Hall might not be a bad idea. You could do it much quicker than you know just floating in a boat. Um, Urin would lean in and talk to King Dane and ask him where his father is and what he's doing. Um, well, King, uh, King Dane says, uh, privately that, um, you know, he says your, your father is, is, has almost been driven mad by the thought of retaking, uh, uh, Kazakh Dune. And, uh, so he's, he's on, he, he's pretty sure that he's, started up near Gundabad and basically gone on Durin's march down to Dimeril Dale to the Mirror Mirror. Hey, we're heading there. <laughs> well, sort of. We could be heading there. So, are the bear... Do we know if the, um... Maybe the Blue Wizard would know, but do we know if the High Pass is still being held by, uh, the bear Uh, well, you, you had a couple people take the High Pass, and what, what did you guys find on the High Pass? Is that me and Riken? Yep. Uh, that was when we ran into the goblins, right? And that's where you're being hunted now. Yeah. Okay, so that would be a, a no. <laughs> and, it's, and by the time you get there, it's going to be sort of beginning of December, maybe mid-December. Uh, it'll be very, very difficult. There'll be trolls as well. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, okay, so so am I to think that you guys are heading Old Forest Road to Lorien? Yeah, say, yeah I mean, probably, yeah. It's a good way south of the Old Forest Road, right? It's not, it's not like the one that I would choose, but that doesn't seem like there's any other good options. Yeah. I mean, your, your ultimate goal, Gildor told you, basically, <laughs> get this get this object back to me at Bree, is what he said. Um, but y- you guys need some refuge. You need some, you need some allies, and uh, Altar is significant suggesting that you seek out the either either the elves at, at uh, Rivendell or the, the elves in Lorien. But he has no idea how we would pass the mountains to get to Rivendell. No, he thinks it's he thinks it's really not a good idea to, to go the high pass. All right. Um, he did. He does say that you know if you can make it as far as Lorien, um, you do have allies down there. Um, so you know Rohan is down there, Isengard is down there. Um, if you can make it around the southern tip of the Misty Mountains, um, mm-hmm. he thinks your chances. If you can sort of avoid Tarmin- Tarminaroth, uh, you you would be home free, so to speak. Though this marks the end of the episode, the road goes ever on. Until next time, join us at longwinded.one and consider giving us a review on Apple Music, Spotify, or really whichever platform you choose. 